are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is the morning edition. This is for Friday, the 31st of July. I'm James Spann. We'll maintain the chance of scattered showers and storms today and tomorrow. We trend drier Sunday, and there could be a few strong storms, especially over North Alabama today and tomorrow. And, of course, we have a hurricane now that will be skirting the east coast of the United States, Issa Eas. We'll talk about that as we go. Here's the upper look this morning. Got a heat bubble over the western states. And around here, the ridge weaker than usual, so a number of showers and storms will likely form later today. But early this morning, things are fairly quiet. That was the radar composite at 452. Temperatures in the 70s to start the day. Dew points are in the 70s to start the day. The high today, 87 to 91 for most locations. Got flash flood watches north of the state. And out west, a number of states with excessive heat warnings under the heat dome. Here's the severe weather outlook today. Several pockets uh, where there's a marginal risk, including northwest Alabama. Areas in darker green, that's level one out of five. Some of the storms there could produce gusty winds this afternoon or tonight. And tomorrow, a marginal risk, including the northern quarter of the state. Same thing. Some of the storms could produce strong, gusty winds. Then on day three, Sunday... A marginal risk up in the northeast United States and also for parts of Colorado and the plains there. Here's the rain for the next seven days. And obviously obviously the big numbers are going to be on the Atlantic coast with the hurricane. Issa Eas. And Alabama rain amounts generally one half inch or less. And again, we trend dry for a couple of days on Sunday and Monday as we get into the sinking air on the periphery of the tropical system. But there's a look at Issa Eas early this morning. Top winds 80 miles an hour. This was upgraded to a hurricane last night based on data from Hurricane Hunters. Uh, the system moving away from Hispaniola. And next up, we've got the Bahamas, where hurricane warnings are currently in effect. Here's the track from the Hurricane Center. No change. Very good consistency now. This will be uh, skirting the east coast of the U.S., possibly making landfall up on the uh, coast of the Carolinas Monday, and then accelerating northeast, should be near Cape Cod Tuesday night as a tropical storm. This is the rain associated with the system. And again, on the Atlantic coast of Florida, places like Daytona Beach, down toward uh, Fort Lauderdale, Miami, amounts generally between two and four inches. Most likely the really big rains are just offshore, thankfully. And this is a look at the Tropical storm force wind speed probabilities. And again, the higher winds will be offshore. Uh, But again, our friends up in the Carolinas, uh, they could uh, see landfall there, possibly especially over eastern North Carolina Monday. And everybody on the Atlantic coast, needless to say, will have to watch this thing carefully. Uh, The intensity guidance, most models keep it as a Category 1. Got a couple of outliers that bring it to Category 2 or 3 strength. Elsewhere in the tropics, a couple of other waves to watch. One out there about halfway between the Lesser Antilles and the coast of Africa with a low chance of development. If anything pops there, that will likely begin to recurve in a path maybe a little east of Issa Eas. And that tropical wave out in the deep eastern Atlantic off the coast of Africa with a medium chance of developing, but that thing is going to be drifting north So no threat anytime soon. So model fans, here we go. The GFS, the 06C run, 4 o'clock today. Pretty good-looking shortwave north and west of the state. That's the reason you've got that uh, marginal risk up in the Tennessee Valley today and tomorrow. But we'll see scattered showers and storms around later today. Highs, again, 87 to 91. And the same thing tomorrow. Got a broad surface low north of the state. There's been some evidence there might be an organized line of storms that might pass through here tomorrow afternoon. Just something to watch. And again, uh, Issa Eas is just uh, east of Fort Lauderdale. Now, this is Sunday. We're kind of in the sinking air on the periphery of the tropical system, subsidence. Uh, Issa Eas is just uh, southeast of Jacksonville. And again, a lot of sun, many showers, isolated. High Sunday, upper 80s to near 90. And really the same thing on Monday. And Issa Eas moving perhaps into eastern North Carolina. Uh, But again, showers here just isolated. Then Tuesday, scattered afternoon storms. 
Same thing on Wednesday and Thursday, just kind of typical summertime weather. And a week from today, Friday the 7th, got a flat ridge down here. And again, it looks pretty quiet. Let's go out 10 days. This is Sunday, August 9th. Got a ridge across the deep south, troughing to the north. And again, classic summer weather. Hot, muggy, a few pop-up storms. Rain for Birmingham off the European Ensemble. The mean between 1.5 and, and 2 inches for the next 15 days. And again, temperature's not that bad. We can live with these numbers. You know, it can be just blazing hot here in August. Highs mostly upper 80s and low 90s. And the CPC outlook, August 7th through the 13th, showing temperatures pretty close to average, maybe a little below average for the northern part of the state. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. You can catch us this evening on ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.